I'm sorry. A strange choice of greeting? That mask runner. If I hadn't done what I did, maybe she wouldn't have died. She wouldn't have been the first mask runner you've killed. It's not about me. If she was still alive, maybe she could tell us where my brother is. Or where to find the artifacts. You heard. And learning how to create masquerines again is... huge, I know. But somehow, compared to finding my brother... I say that I'm scared for him. But in the end, it is I that undermines our progress to find him. Razatov is that much further away now. Five years ago, I was put on an investigation that led me to discover that my brother had been siphoning masquerines out of the Hall of Bearings. I didn't join him in the endeavor, obviously, but I let him go. When the Registry found out, and word spread, the consensus at the time was that I had to be punished. Death by hanging was the easiest option. To remind the others what awaited them should they ever place their hearts above their duty. It was your brother that sacrificed much of his clout to negotiate the terms of my punishment. He managed to reduce it from a death sentence to one of exile. Your brother saved my life, Calden. I didn't know that. We'll get him back, Calden. On your Mariner's Moon. I promise that. Thank you. All right, off we go. Let's see if there's more lore around here because there always is. <laughs> there always is. Did you already go up all the way to the northern part? I can't. You can't? It brought me back down. Oh, really? Yep. It's okay. We'll probably go back up there at some point. No, oh, more lore. But there is more lore. Of course. But I don't want to I don't want to read anything else today. Calden? Oh no. Tired. Who is that? Calden. Please, Orlana. Every marshal that I've spoken to says that you knew him well. Calden, who is this? Inspettore. My name is Orlana Corveil, songstress of the Hall of Songs and sister of Jax's Corveil. Orlana, do not involve the Inspettore, please. I had once tried asking the Registry for assistance, but they turned me aside. Perhaps you will be kinder. Orlana, you must move on. How? My brother is dead, and I know not why or how, and the only lead I have refuses to answer my questions. There is nothing to answer. And so I approach an Inspettore, who certainly could do a better job than I. Cicero, we have no time for this. Let the Inspettore... Jaxus is gone! And no amount of investigating is going to bring him back to the shores of life! He would want you to move on. But please... Orlana... Calvin... A shadow of my past. We should go. We'll read about it later. I'm tired of reading. <laughs> My voice is like kind of going a little bit and also I like- I could read everything. I know you do, but every time you do, I get sleepier and sl sleepier. <laughs> and it's becoming a problem. Oh, hey, Amadea is here. But first we check for lore. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just listening to you talk while like the choral music in the background goes. Why, I can just talk you to sleep? Uh, by the end of it, yeah, I'm ready to go. I think I got up at like 8 today. That was not good. What is this about? No greetings, even? Stop wasting my time. <sighs> Alright. I want you to be a part of this investigation. What? You have expertise that my team is lacking. This is not a good idea. I can pay you. A thousand crescents. You don't have that kind of money. I will once I finish my job, with your help. Amadea, what is stopping you? Masquerines, the blood of the city. This is our chance to find out where they came from. 
For centuries, the histories of the land have been enigmatic. For the first time, that curtain is being lifted. Fine. Really? Do you want me to back out now? No, no. This is good. Thank you. Now, where are we going? Toth, found us a place yet? Yes, we did. We think you'd be most pleased with it, sir. Well, let's hope you're right. Oh, that's interesting. They really do look exactly the same. They do. The boy is slouching a bit more. Yeah, but uh, he calls them. So, him, what oh. fruits have your search yielded? It's a place called the Estiguary, sir. Is it crowded? Not at all, sir. In fact, the place is practically barren, save the people who own it. The owner said the war's done a toll, but he's more than willing to house us for the night. For as long as we want, in fact. Generous. How much is he asking? He said it depends on who we bring back. Of course he did. I wouldn't put my trust in anyone who didn't hold a bargain. I'm glad you think so, sir. We're just arriving. He calls them toves. As in plural, because each of their last name. I didn't realize that at first. I thought that was one of their names the first time around, or that was but their full last name. they're twins! I know. Tight. That's... Beautiful. All right, Ricardo. I hereby promise never to rat you out. Sir, we'll go in and tell the owner that you're here. We'll be right back. I don't understand. This is too beautiful to be so... empty. The owner was telling us that the people of the city forgot about it ever since the war started. In the first year of the war, the road that led here was frequented by mask runners. Makes sense that people stopped coming. What a pity. I'm not shedding any tears. The more space we have to ourselves, the better, I say. He's ready for you, sir. Let's see who it is. But first, lore! And by that, I mean donkeys. Why are the donkeys... A, impassable, but also still carrying stuff on their back? Ah! Uh, they were pack donkeys earlier at the mine. They just... Oh, I know, I saw ...reused them. the model, but still. Okay, so we've got a ford, some kind of garden. Yeah, this is actually a pretty... ...pretty place. Cat! I like the moons in the windows. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Cicero? Hello, Ven. Wait, you know each other. What? <laughs> I don't believe it. How have you been? I should be asking you that question, you rascal. Why didn't you tell me you were bringing him? We didn't know that. Well... Why don't the lot of you find some rooms that suit you? As you can tell, the entire place is basically yours. About that, then. The twins were saying something about price. Ha! <laughs> Cicero, please. What do you think I am? The kind of man who swindles his friends? No, no, that treatment is reserved for the dastardly. You, you stay here for free. Ven, I, I can't. I insist. And I insist not. You will take something, or I'm afraid I'm going to have to walk out. <laughs> All right. But remember, you insisted. Now, please, the... Oh, ages, Lucia. You had me worried. Is this a bad time? I was out in the Pale Isle when I saw you leave the Spire. I hope you don't mind that I followed you. I thought it'd be prudent for me to offer an apology. The rest of you, call it a night. Get a room, get comfortable. I'm certain Leventhus over here can get you all settled in. Definitely. We won't disturb. Promise. All right. About suggesting that Avestus call you back, Cicero, I... You can pay me back by telling me all you know about the mask runners. Sorry? Come on, you're hard of hearing now. You said you were investigating them, yes? <sighs> Unbelievable. All right. Over drinks? Sounds like a plan. So, first things first. This Herald. I feel like we just started the game now that we have our home base. Yep. Fractured. Lucius says that ever since the War of Bearings began, the Mask Runners have been fragmenting. Returning back to their factions, the way things were before my brother. 
And which faction has Razatov? They call themselves the Dactites. They're the ones we met at the Quiet Order. Led by the Herald. Exactly. And what do you plan to do? Find this Herald and get Razatov back. Simple as that. There you are. Is she the result of the cleaver? Result? How did you find us? I returned to the White Spire this morning. Inspiratory Lucia was there. Apparently, she'd been here for most of last night. <sighs> Can't hide forever. Marshal, this is Armadea. She'll be lending us her expertise in the Dementicate. You've spoken to her of the artifacts, then? We have. So, what are they? What do they do? We're not entirely sure yet. Our leads in the Cleaver were... destroyed. <sighs> what are your plans now? We need to get Razatov back from the Mask Runners, a faction of them called the Dactites to be specific, and we're going to do that by finding the Herald, their leader. Direct. How refreshing. And how do you intend to find this Herald? <sighs> by finding Lysandra Rorik. What? The leader of the Mask Runners. Make a distinction, Marshal. Lysandra leads the Melakate. They're not the Mask Runners with Razatov. Just tell me which groups I should be taking note of. The first, the Dactites. A new faction led by the Herald who have Razatov. The second, what remains of the Melakate, led by Lysandra, my brother's second in command. And you want to find her because you believe she can lead us to the Herald? Yes, and Lucia concurs. Inspiratory, those are mask runners you're talking about associating yourself with. We're not colluding with them. We just need information. They are fugitives of the law. If you have another suggestion on how we should find Razatov, please, I'm all ears. I hope you know what you're doing. To find her, Lucia has suggested that we turn to a character called the Bloodless. <laughs> I suppose that is a smart move. No. Lucia didn't tell me very much about the man. He is a man without honor. He is a smart man of the Laboris Solus who recognizes the power of information and secrets. If there is anyone that can track a person down in the city, it is him. The Luca have spent years attempting to locate this man. He's crossed more than a few of my guild's boundaries. Note that we are not here to tend to the Golden Guild's interests. You might not be. You think Favio will be happy with you stopping this investigation just to catch one man? Oh, fine. I will not act against him. I do not trust him. Calden. I am sorry, Cicero, but there are entities in this city that I do not wish to be involved with. For the sake of your brother, even? <sighs> as long as I don't ever have anything to do with him. And how do you intend to establish contact with this enigma? You seem to know a thing or two about him. I've worked with one of his messengers before. Vasco Tessitore. He's often found in a tavern called the Bleeding Beetle. That is our best bet. Then what are we waiting for? I remember Vasco. Who's he? He's our fifth party member. How do you know? Uh, because it says so. Hmm. If we pull out Log, I'm not going to look at any of these. We've <laughs> got Calden, Tiziana, Amadea, Vasco. So he's, he's our air brand that joins us at some point in time. What's this? What do you want? You seem troubled. I stick with you for one day and already I'm part of plans to venture into the darkest parts of the city. Mask runners, the bloodless. It is often in the shadows do secrets hide. And we are chasing big secrets. What do you think the city will be like once we find Razatov and the artifacts? Well... Masquerines will no longer be scarce, which means the fundamental threads that our society has been woven from will change. How that even begins to affect our world. Oh, the guilds might not even need to exist. The titles of Contadoni and Mask Runner might cease to mean anything. I... I really don't know. I suppose we'll find out. If everyone has masks, there wouldn't be a need for a lower class mm -hmm. that doesn't have them. So it looks like these are party member, More. like, talking time. Sure you don't want to come? Yes. 
He's going to help us find your brother, you know. Then I'll be glad when he does. I'll see you later, then. You know, I know you like choices in RPGs where, like, you can choose what response to give. But this is a linear I'm one, and it's I'm so all right. glad that it doesn't, because it just lets me sit back, some, well, back and rela relax and enjoy dialogue. Part of it is Cicero is his own character. Yeah, he's not a silent protagonist, and he's written particularly well. But, like, I hate it in RPGs where it's just, like, talking, 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 action, 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 cutscene, talking, 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 choice. And everything just grinds to a halt. And then it goes back to talking, talking, to choice. Talking, ta choice. And you're just like, just, can, can I just have, like, can I just pick, like, the personality profile for my character in the very beginning of the game? And just... <laughs> well, in this case, it's chosen for you. Well, yeah. So. I'm just thinking of, like, Shepard. It's like, do you want to be a dick, a neutral guy, or, you know, a good guy for this entire playthrough? Yes? All right, here you go. I really thought that's what they were doing with uh, Guild Wars. And they even had that silly, you know, are you aggressive, are you noble, or are you charming system. And it did nothing. It did nothing, and they took it out of the game completely. Yes. Ben, are you still interested in that hobby of yours? Collecting stones and fine metals and all that? <laughs> I haven't changed that much. Well, have a look at this, please, and tell me all you can of it. What is it? I was hoping you could tell me. I have a feeling it's got at least a few, uh, special properties. Hmm. I'll do some tests and measurements and get back to you about it when you return. One last thing. Don't tell the Marshal about it, if you could. My lips are sealed. Mm. The one thing I do wish is that it would hide the cursor during cutscenes. He is going to withhold some information from the marshal, marshal, it seems. Yeah. Go to the smith shop. There might be some lore there. Oh yeah, good point. I actually can't. Oh, it cut it off. Yep. Okay. Oh well. Where did you go? Don't be stupid. You've seen how he is. He's a good man, Elena. Even good men have standards. I hope you're not talking about me. Sir! Sir! We were just... Nothing. You were just... nothing? Well, if that's really the case... We'd like to practice the visifa, sir. Brother! Both of you? I apologize, sir. My brother... Let him speak. Yes, the both of us, sir. Uh, Meliari for myself and Messaniari for my sister. Well... Uh... If you want to practice the Visiva, you're going to need a piece of equipment from a masquerada, aren't you? Yes, sir, but we understand if you don't want to do this. After all, we have nothing to our name and no credentials and- Will this do? Sir... That's not an answer. What? Well, uh, it would do fantastically, sir. There's enough space for the inscriptions involved in Meliare. And the blade is more than enough to paint on. Are you sure, sir? Well, the worst that could happen is I get an ugly blade back, isn't it? All right, just a minute, sir. We'll do some basic forms. So is this Teaching weapon customization? Fighting? Now, the moment of truth. Hmm. The energies do flow smoother. It worked, brother! I don't believe it. Thank you, sir. Well, if there's anything more I can do... Sigils, sir. Anything that has complicated Dementicate symbols. I'd like to try my hand at the more complex workings. I'll keep an eye out. And you, Elena? If you could find plants of the more exotic variety, I could use their dyes. A larger palette drastically alters the effects of Messaniare. I'll bring back anything I can find. Now, hold on. Since you're both trained in the Visiva, you think you could handle this? Raw masquerines. I don't intend on getting bogged down with the documentation if I have to go through the Registry's artisan to get these touched up. Sir... This is basic work. We can get these up to scratch in no time. Good. Until then, however, we have business to attend to. Where, sir? An establishment called the Bleeding Beetle. You know of it? It's one of our favorite haunts, sir. Excellent. Off we go, then. So... Ah! Uh, <laughs> what? 
New ink obtained. Well, there's the Visiva. We have... Oh, here we go. So, based on the plants that we find, we get different effects. So, in this case, we only have this one. Engravings. So, extra damage, proc chance. Okay, what about the other characters? I'm just trying to see if we have any other options. The answer is we just have this one. Uh, we only have one of each. Mm -hmm. So all we can do is have extra damage. I'm pretty okay with that, honestly. Looks like we're gonna get him. Yeah, later. Maybe sooner than later, probably. I don't know. It's an interesting question. So these kids... Inspettore, if you don't mind me asking, you're awfully familiar with the owner of the tavern. He was a close friend of my family's when I was younger. Before I joined the Portieri, he shared his purse with us. Helped us get through rough times. That's sweet. And naive. Most Contadani can't even fend for themselves. What sense is there in sharing? What sense is there in not keeping everything to yourself? What's the use? Ah, the Stone Cold Girl finally shows a sliver of a heart. It just doesn't make sense. So apparently the, uh, the... Wagon drivers are good at inscription, I guess? Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. They're tampering with various things. The street to get you to the Bleeding Beetles down this way, sir. Too small for the coach. We'll be waiting for you here, whenever you're done. I really like the coach. It's neat. Um... Let's see. I was gonna say. It's better than, like, introducing a new character, though. I gotta admit. Mm-hmm. It's just ahead. No more lore? Yeah. That's and there him. he is. The one with the flute. He's good? Among the city's best. We should get closer. Mm -mm. Yep, those guys don't look like they're any good. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, a masquerine! Yep, as always, don't just settle for looking... Looking at one. Hmm. I've got that thing where my lips are kind of chapped. Chickens! And they're sticking together and it's really inconvenient. Mm -hmm. By the ages. What do you see? There, over by the side. That man with the guards. That's Isander Urshel. He's the leader of the Salt Breeders. One of the smaller masquerina factions that existed before the war. Apparently, they're still around. I've heard of them. Getting Contadoni addicted to stone salt, then charging exorbitantly. They've practically robbed hundreds of families of their stability. And nothing's been done about it. And nothing will be done. Not today, at least. Remember who we're here for. Thank you, thank you! He's getting away! Marshal, don't do anything! You! Stay where you are! What are you doing? What? Protect me! Oh, great. For the light! <laughs> well, I think her move's a bit stronger. Oh, wow. That move's a fair bit stronger, too. So you think the stone salts are some kind of, like, meth or something? Yeah, probably. Is this the guy? No, this is someone else. Is this just a random <laughs> woman? No, she's a bard kind okay. of character. What in all the legacies do you think you're doing? That man is Isander. I know who he is, damn it. He has a contract on his head for blood's sake. You mean that? Forget it. I see you're with Amadea. You're here for the bloodless? Yes. Then you will listen to me. Isander is a large man with a love for large spaces. He will not take any of the alleyways and neither will you. What do you mean by... You will follow him, chase him, and he will send his guards to stop you. Be a dear and take care of them for me. What do you do? Slip through the shadows. 
If you do your job right and keep him running down the wide street, I'll be able to take care of him once he's alone. I repeat, alone. That means... No guards, we get it. Good. Then go before you lose him. Mm -hmm. So he's sort of the assassin type. Mm -hmm. That would make sense, air. Easy in is easy out. Stop! There's three of them. We can take them on. Protect me! The Come designs me. for the enemies are actually quite cool. Okay. I like this. I, oh, hey, I like the increased in the range. Fray, but he's using a flute himself. Interesting, yeah. Okay, he also summoned a bunch of little flat, f fat, flaming critters. Yeah. Which is really confusing. They also seem to explode when they die. Sounds like he's playing a reporter. Don't let him get away. Yep. Those are just mini. What are you doing? Are they like mini versions of him? Yes, they are little fat men. But are they mini versions of him? Stop. Yes. Him. That's hilarious. We have to fight. The light will cut you down. You know, I think if I was somebody that large... For some reason, I'm reminded of Paladin when I hear her talking. The light will cut you well, down. Well, I think that's kind of the point. She's supposed to be kind of a Paladin. Using righteous holy fire. Yeah, you know, she's she's interested in righteous justice You know, all that kind of stuff. justice Totally not a word. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. Did you hear that as he went by? Do 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 do. What's up north? Or are you gonna lose that? I'll look around. Nah, there's no nope. time limit on this. Jeez. Nah. <laughs> it was stuck on my foot for a second. Stop it! There's nothing back here. Let's keep going. Never know. Unless there's something down the stairs. Nah. I'm just afraid I'm gonna miss something. You know, that I needed to find along the way. Kitty. Mm-hmm. I don't think I needed to worry about paying attention to the cat. There, ahead. Going somewhere? <sighs> well, well, Lysander. You've been a tough rat to catch. I did nothing wrong. Oh, how entertaining the words of the ignorant can sometimes be. You consider ruining the lives of hundreds of Contadani nothing wrong. They came to me for the salt. They wanted it. I never forced it on them. No. You simply lied to them. Told them it was medication. And then you watched their lives fall apart in front of you as you grew fat upon their innocence. I... I won't do it again. You have my word. I'll give them back the money, I swear. A kind offer. How unlike you, Isander. People change. Hmm. Go then. The Laboris will keep its ear out for you. If we hear that you have not been true to your word. Hunt me again, I'll say. A fair deal. Off you go then. Now, time for the real you show. think you can threaten me? So much cleaner for the heart when they fall upon their own blade, wouldn't you say? You knew he was going to try that. Of course I did. Stick around in my vein of work long enough and you learn that people like that never change. But the lot of you clearly haven't been in this vein for very long. Silence, bloodling. And you are in a position to say such a thing. You who ruined the entire plan. As if you even had a plan. You're nothing but... Isander Urschel is a man of habit and a man of fine hearing. After every strong performance he witnesses, he retreats to his abode in the dim way, intent on scribing out the music. This is the only time you will ever catch him without his guards, the time when his neck is most ripe for the cutting. So yes, oh golden one, I had a plan. But come, enough talk of the dead. 
You've helped me clear a contract. I suppose introductions are at least necessary? My name is Vasco Tessitore, bloodling of the Laboris Salus. And I... Inspiratore Cicero Guevara of the Registry, Amadea Invidius, initiate of the Dieci Sovrani, and Lumbering Cow, mistake of the Luca Infinita. How dare you! Hold, Marshal. We've come with a purpose. Do not forget that. We need to speak with the Bloodless. I'd guessed as much when I saw Amadeo with you. Though I am curious to ask, such strange company you're keeping, my dear. Well, the winds of change are blowing strong. And the paths of the supple carried along. I see. Well... Oh, don't stop there. I'm... I'm sorry? Certainly you'll not quote one half of the song without the other. The branches of death lull to its beat, and in their wake do the sleepers weep. How oh, truly, what a choice of companion, Amadea. You know the song? My brother taught it to me, yes. It seems you've forgotten who I am. I'm afraid I had. Excuse me, what is going on? Nothing, Marshal. Just exchanging words about an old ditty. But enough of that. I'm sure we'll have more time to talk later, yes? Of course. We'll head back to the Estiguary. We can all speak a little bit more then. A question, Bloodling, before we talk business. I, sir? You sing songs and tell tales of the lives of others, yes? That I do. I also eat and drink and sometimes sleep. Have you ever heard of a young boy who went by the name of Jabs before? His mother had been a dirge in the Laboris as well, Talia Victus. Hmm. Not names that chime in my memory, no. Why? Mm, uh, it sounds strange, but you remind me a little of him. <laughs> he must be quite the fetching man. Oh, if you were alive, perhaps. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It has been enough years for that wound to close. Uh, forget I ever brought it up. My, my, what a beauty. Already you're taking me to the good places in Spatore. Marshal, if you'd watch him, I don't want him breaking anything inside. Does that include his face? Why didn't you tell me earlier? What did you expect me to say? Hello, I was a mask runner. I hope you don't mind. When you use mask runner code phrases in front of me, that's basically what you're saying anyway. Why did you suggest the bloodless? Surely you know where Lissandra is. It's been years since I left the Malacate. He's the best lead we have. Why did you leave? Reasons. All right. I won't pry. What? Most of the time when people ask why I left the city, I usually feel like introducing them to my fist, so... Yes, I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Besides, it's not why you're here anyway. You're right. It's not. What? We'll continue this another time. <laughs>